What's good my friends, welcome back to my spaceship. Just a quick reminder, if you want to see more like art related uh, Blender stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the button below. So I've seen these images on Instagram a couple of times now by uh, Tim Tedder. The series is called Black is a Color. And yeah, I uh, wanted to find a way to recreate them in Blender. I uh, found a cool way to do this. Um, and this is what I wanted to show you right now. Okay, let's open up Blender and uh, let's try to recreate the style. Okay, let's go fresh brand new file. Uh, we are going to delete the default cube and the light and the camera. We don't need that. So uh, what we are using for this one is the human generator again. And we are going to create us a new uh, female model. Mm, generate new human. And let's create a, a simple pose for the model. So we are going to tilt the head a bit. So she is not looking directly in the camera. So I'm using the rotate tool and just moving her head around a bit. So we got something to work with. Okay, that's fine for now. And I'm going to place the arms a little bit closer to the body. Okay, that's fine for now. So I'm get back into object mode. So what we want to do now is um, select everything from the human generator model and scale our model up 10 times because we are using a cloth simulation for the paint trips. And a cloth simulation usually works really good when the scale is a lot higher. So we are scaling our model up. So I'm selecting everything from the model, uh, press S and then type in 10 and hit enter. So now we um, scaled it up 10 times. Okay, now we can create our cloth simulation. So for this we are going to need a plane. So hit Shift A, search for mesh and plane. And press G and then Z to move it up. So just place it over the head. And we are going to scale this up a bit. Okay, that's fine for now. Now we are heading over to our modifier tab and we are going to add a subdivision surface. Um, the levels can be three and set it to simple. Now we need a cloth simulation. And in the end we need a subdivision surface again. Um, the levels can be three too. And that's fine for now. So now um, select the plane again, hit tab and let's subdivide it three times. So just right click and subdivide three times. Okay, so now we got uh, enough information for the cloth simulation to work. Our model is scaled up and now the cloth simulation should work uh, pretty good. And we also need to um, select our collision object. So in this case, the body and head over to our physics tab and select the collision. And yeah, now we can just press spacebar to run the simulation. Let's see what happens. Okay, we can get back to the first frame, scale it up a bit and let's place it a little bit more to the right so it doesn't fall down. So let's see if I had spacebar again what happens. Okay, I'm uh, going to rotate it like 45 degrees, so I'm going into the front view. Press R and type in 45. Let's see how this looks. Pressing spacebar again to run the simulation. You can scroll back in the timeline to see if there's a frame you really like. So I'm using the um, frame 25 for this one because the uh, cloth simulation is really close to the head and that's good for uh, what we want to achieve with this. So let's use uh, frame 25, that looks good. So I'm selecting the cloth, um, right click on it and convert it to a mesh. So now after we converted the plane to a mesh, we can add another modifier and we need a solidify modifier. So I'm adding this one. The offset is one and let's give it a little bit more thickness. Don't worry about these parts for now. We are heading over to our sculpting tab and uh, we are going to fix this. So this looks fine for the solidify modifier and I'm going to apply this one. And now we can head over to our sculpting tab. 
Okay, so now you can use any brush here. Um, if you press um, shift, you are using the smooth brush. So I'm holding down shift and um, just fixing these parts that are sticking out and looking weird. And in general, you can um, smooth out the mesh on parts you don't really like. So I'm just fixing this here. Okay, that's fine for now. I'm also using the smooth brush to um, make the edges uh, smoother. Okay, we can work with that. So what we are going to do now is um, selecting the grab brush and uh, create our paint drips. So just select some parts here and drag them down. You can just use the grab brush for this and create some um, paint drips with it. So I think we are going to use the perspective from this side. So I'm just um, um, creating the drips that you see from this side. So what I like to do uh, in this case is also use the inflate brush and give it a little bit more thickness. So it looks like thick paint dripping down from the face. So basically I'm just using the grab brush and the inflate brush. And I'm also smoothing out some parts that are looking weird. Okay, let's leave it at this for now. Okay, now we can go back to our layout tab and create a quick scene. Um, so I'm just duplicating this workspace and dragging us a new window. So I'm going into the front view, hit shift A and creating a new camera. Back in the side view and with G I'm moving the camera around. Um, if you click here, you get into the camera view. And yeah, let's change some stuff here. We can use the cycles render for this one and also change the resolution to something like 4000 to 5000. Um, and also change the render to 400 samples and the viewport to 30. Okay, I'm trying to find a good position for our camera. So, okay, let's uh, see how this looks rendered. Uh, we are going to add a new um, area light so hit shift a uh, search for light and then area pressing g and z again to move it up and as to scale it um, we are heading over to our light um, settings give it a power of like 1000 okay and, and now i'm going to duplicate our workspace again so we can change this window to our shader editor I'm going into the world settings and let's change the background to black. I'm selecting our cloth simulation and choose object over here and let's create a new material. So for this one I'm going to use an uh, image. So I'm hitting shift A and search for image and insert the image texture. Um, and on the image texture you can press Ctrl T to add the mapping and the texture coordinates and I'm plugging this one into the base color. So I'm on Unsplash now um, I was searching for color paint and found this image here. And let's use one of these here. Okay, so now I'm opening the image in the image texture node. And yeah, this is how it looks now. And now we can select our model and go into the material tab and delete all the materials that are already on the human generator model. Create a new one, give it a black color and give it a roughness of 0.2 for example. Okay, now we can add a couple of area lights. So I'm pressing shift A, search for light and create another area light. Um, I'm moving this up. And 
and rotate it 90 degrees to the side and let's um, scale this up a bit and place it parallel to the camera in the back of the model and give it a strength of 1000 let's see how this looks so let's duplicate the slide and uh, place it on the right side a little bit more on the front and i'm going to duplicate this one again and place it on the left side so just find some good spots for the area lights and yeah, if you want to change the color of the image uh, in a quick and easy way, you can just add a hue and saturation node um, after the image texture and use the hue node to change the color really quick. Sometimes you find really interesting color combinations with this one. And give it a saturation of 2, for example, to give it a little bit more power or maybe 1.5 is enough in this case. So this is the version I created earlier today. Uh, where I tried to figure out how this technique works. I scaled up the plane a little bit more, so as you see it covers more of the face, so it really depends on how big the plane is um, in the beginning. Um, but the technique was exactly the same as I showed you in the video. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully see you in the next one. Peace!